Traditionally, coral is the number one accessory in this part of the world, enhancing and reviving tradition. It's a traditional bead. Without the beads, there is no Benin. Coral bead is as old as the Benin tradition. Apart from the aestheticism that it gives, the reverence which we give to the Oba. It comes in red and white colors and different sizes and shapes, and of course, prices. Other than an occasion such as the coronation of an Oba of Benin, the best option for powerful traditional Nigerian look is oftentimes with coral beads, sometimes combined with gold jewelry for enhancements. History has it that the Oba's divine right to rule is reiterated in his regalia with his royal crowns, shirts, aprons, necklaces and accessories including his shoes. The coral beaded dress that is never worn by a slave. And beyond that one you have a host of other items, coral, ivories, brass, that constitute part of your bath regalia. The paraphernalia as you see, you know, that are attached to his costume, majority of them are not just worn for the fun of it. Majority of them, they have significance. It signifies happy mood, you know, cultural identity of those who use it like the Benin. Apart from the sacred power, the coral, brass and ivory used in the Benin royal arts are endowed with these items express greater worth of his kingdom. Coral beads are not just ornamental, but believed to have effective power to cause any vow or cause to come to pass. And in this circumstance, wearing of coral beads is a crucial component of what gives an oba divine powers. Made from sea plants, every Benin citizen is expected to be adorned in the red colored beads according to the tradition after the discontinuation of the white ones used during the morning period of the transited oba. Little wonder the city is painted in coral color. In Benin, Ogochkuka Ona, NT News.